Hello and welcome to the ARC Automation Studio. I'm Alan Avery, a Senior Analyst here at ARC, and today's topic in the studio will be uh, multi-phase and virtual flow metering solutions uh, centered around the oil and gas industry. Joining us today is Senior Analyst Tim Shea, and he's just completed a study on this topic. Thanks for joining us today, Tim. Now, we, we've worked together for a number of years and uh, know each other pretty well, but uh, for the benefit of our audience, uh, I wonder if you could tell us what your area of expertise is in the multi-phase flow metering and virtual flow metering markets and how that enriches your analysis of the topic. Also, what are the, the measurement technologies that would help uh, the audience better understand this topic? Thanks, Alan. I've been covering the multi-phase flow metering market at ARC since 2014, and ARC itself has been covering the multi-phase market since 2008. The two main measurement methodologies that we're under study here today are including multi-phase flow metering solutions, which are multi-sensorial physical base meters, typically using a gamma attenuation type approach or a non-radioactive approach using CMT or microwave and a variety of different uh, multi-sensorial approaches. And we also new, provide new coverage on the virtual flow metering market segment, which is basically software-based uh, calculations using existing pressure, temperature, flow data at the wellbore typically uh, to derive a virtual uh, flow and composition uh, reading. Now I wonder what trends are driving customers to increase their investments in multi-phase and virtual flow metering technologies? Well, Alan, there are th four major trends driving customers to increase their investment in MPFM and virtual flow metering F VFM solutions. First, the potential number of wells that can benefit from MPFM or F VFM is quite large. There's over 1 million wells operating worldwide and about 100,000 drilled annually uh, based on industry sources. And some, some share of these can certainly support and benefit from an MPFM and or a VFM solution. Second, validation of product performance improvements is driving greater adoption. Uh, over time, these units have been increasingly deployed in the different formations uh, around the world and are being validated as uh, providing a, certainly a greater level of accuracy uh, and, and measurement than was previously uh, found in the past. Thus, this is validating the customer's confidence in these solutions uh, to, be, uh, to be deployed. VFMs uh, can be a useful tool in helping them with the validation of an MPFM itself. Third, the, the need for real-time multi-phase flow measurement is real and is growing in a number of applications and project locations. Onshore projects, albeit some challenging shale formations, are benefiting as are offshore and subsea projects for applications such as well testing, production allocation, production optimization, artificial lift, uh, etc. Lastly, VFMs increasingly are seen by operators and independents as a lower cost complementary option to an MPFM. Users are increasingly seeking ways to reduce costs and more and more of these uh, customers are looking to VFMs as a lower cost solution that can provide a backup or validation of an existing MPFM, perhaps provide real-time field surveillance or production monitoring for wells that cannot support an FPM, F MPFM, and there's other benefits as well. What are the underlying drivers that have been critical to growth in the multi-phase flow market? There are truly two main underlying drivers that have been critical to growth in this market. First is the increasing demand for energy and the growing demand for natural gas for power generation. Industry sources indicate that global demand for energy consumption will rise between 1.5% and 2% annually over the next 25 years. Natural gas is seen as by many as serving the bridge fuel uh, towards the future. This demand is going to be increasing uh, need for hydrocarbons, particularly oil and gas, and thus the need for multi-phase flow measurement to support that demand. The second one is the with the end of easy oil in the lower for longer uh, market these days, investments in operational improvements to ensure national interests interests are protected, particularly for national oil companies or integrated uh, oil companies as well as independents. They're all struggling to find ways to operate and operate profitably in these challenging times. 
Thus, ARC believes investments in an MPFM and or a VFM solution can provide some good return on investment. And lastly, the most important driver has been the price volatility uh, in oil and gas prices. Thus, any solution that can help operators to deal with that volatility to improve operational performance and profitability is seen as really uh, almost a necessary investment. What strategy should suppliers consider to improve their market position in the multi-phase and virtual flow metering markets? The three key strategic initiatives for suppliers to consider to improve their MPFM and VFM competitive positions are as follows. One, to continue to invest in product development to ensure proven performance that, that is increasing the accuracy of the, the measurements and also in many ways trying to reduce the cost, which is very critical, but also to educate the users on what the tangible benefits of the MPFM and VFM solutions are. So we see it as advancements in sensing technologies and or simulation software, advanced analytics and things like machine learning to help improve the accuracy, reduce uncertainty and ensure reliable real-time measurements are critical to uh, increasing adoption. Second, we believe investing in and working with testing organizations uh, to expedite product validate, validations and certifications. We found that during our research, working with owner operators and independents, that validation of these solutions in the field was the most critical factor for them to having a confidence to make an investment decision. So to, to work with these organizations to understand the current and changing operational requirements, many of these organizations like TUB, SUD, NEL, and RIPC, and um, among others, can be a very vital good source for, for validation and credibility for the, uh, for the supplier's solution. Lastly, we believe in developing effective sales and marketing campaigns. And basically what we mean is we mean highlighting user success stories in different locations and formations so as to cover the broadest reach possible to generate awareness and interest and really position an MPFM or a VFM from a need to have for, to a need to have solution rather than one that's nice to have. It's that, it's that decision to get the user to see these solutions as a critical investment to enhance their operational uh, uh, performance that's going to be bringing successful uh, endeavors in the future. Thanks for sharing your insights with us today, Tim. This concludes our presentation on the multi-phase and virtual flow metering solutions market. Audience members who'd like more information or have any questions about the research should get in touch with the client manager here at ARC or contact the author directly. Thanks for your attention and have a great day.